Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today's July 15th, 2019, and this is our episode number 473. Is it that? Let me make sure. Yeah, 473. Uh, today's randomly selected company is called Alper Consultoria in Seguro. So Alper Insurance Consultancy. They seem to be a basically an insurance company. Uh, so like from the get-go, it's hard to say, to tell what's the difference, like introduced by the word consultancy here. And it's interesting to realize because we did dedicate a few episodes recently to insurance companies, but we did not get to Alpe. We did look at Alpe uh, a few months ago, and this company used to be called BR, so BR, Brazil Insurance. And the numbers we have here, I've never been an investor, are as follows. Um, this is not actually the full year, that's what we're going to look at. Uh, we have third quarter of 2018 here, we'll get the numbers. So. Uh, no debt, liabilities to equity at 0.22, so we look at good numbers here for the foundation, like the financial health. We can see that their revenue has dropped a lot here, so it would be interesting to see what's going on. And they're posting losses over four years. And as far as I could tell, the free cash flow numbers were not positive too. As you can see here, we had four years almost. And they were all negative and that's why i kind of did not continue to study or to consider this company so here are the financial demonstrations for the year and what we can do today uh, is update these numbers so net equity here 93 million An amazing drop in net equity here, as you can see. So it's really hard to be excited about a company like this, unfortunately. Uh, liabilities, current liabilities here, 24 million. And non-current here, another 20, so 44. That one's easy. And we cannot see any debt. So onwards to current ratio. So current assets, 55. And we divide the current assets by the current liability. So 55 divided by 24. And that'll be 2.29. <clears throat> So judging just by the ratios here, the, the numbers look pretty okay. But we'd have to understand a bit more to be confident in the company. So what about the revenue for the entire year? It ended at 88 million. So it's really strange to see that from the third to the fourth quarter, they added 500,000 in revenue. That's strange. Okay, earnings. They posted a loss of 164 million, so that's how their net equity dropped, and that's how their average now earnings over 10 years is negative. So let's see here what we have. Yes. And free cash flow. So operating cash flow. Look at this operating cash flow, negative. So it's it's rough but we rounded to zero here, it's just to the nearest. And the investment cash flow minus two, so we have a minus two here. And how much is this, this, this company cost? Okay. Two hundred nine million. Yeah. Very interesting. Look, look at how much more expensive this company is right now. So, if you had invested in this highly risky seeming company, you would have doubled your money. So, 
go figure. But I would not invest in this company uh, unless we you know, decide to really study and really to find something under the hood here that is not apparent from this basic uh, uh, preliminary look. So with that said, thank you very much. Uh, in our next episode, we will come back with a different company, probably randomly selected. And uh, meanwhile, I wish you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Please consider becoming a subscriber if you're not uh, a subscriber yet. And see you again soon. Bye-bye.